دكتور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طلابنا الأعزاء Today we'll discuss the renal trauma So uh, at first we start the, uh, together to remember the anatomy of the, uh, the kidney uh, We said previously in the previous lecture of anatomy that the uh, kidneys located in the retinal peritoneum uh, part so uh, it is enveloped by uh, geratase fascia uh, anterior anterior medially uh, covered by uh, or uh, lined by the peritone on the viscera and posteriorly by the posterior abdominal wall uh, so it is protected by the muscle uh, of the posterior abdominal wall and also by the lower rib uh, so when there is a trauma to the flank or uh, penetrating a trauma to the abdomen there is a 10 percent uh, involvement of the urinary system and that is defined as the physical or wound uh, to a living tissue caused by an uh, external agent trauma that evolve uh, to the uh, urinary system or to all body either uh, penetrating the trauma or planted trauma uh, bilateral renal injury <coughs> a mechanism uh, motor vehicle collision uh, fall from height sports uh, and uh, assault sudden acceleration deceleration injury uh, makes also uh, injury to the uh, renal medical or uh, to the ureter penetrating a trauma uh, something like the gunshot wound, uh, or stab wound and uh, other uh, traumas next when the patient uh, come to the uh, casualty, as you know, at first we should uh, put in, your, in our mind uh, that the uh, general condition of the patient. So at first we should uh, try to uh, put in our mind the airway, breathing, circulation, uh, and then uh, see if there is an uh, injury to the, uh, your, uh, to the nervous system and also try to uh, uncover the patient. So uh, to see if there is an, a trauma, that uh, site of a trauma, such as there is a bruising to the uh, flank, bruising to the uh, uh, abdomen, and also may, uh, we see if there is uh, trauma that is uh, all penetration. Uh, important to stabilize the patient at first, and then uh, after stabilization, do fast examination or send patient for fast. Fast examination is examination by the uh, ultrasound uh, to see if there is an uh, intra-abdominal fluid collection. Uh, hematoma or abdominal hematoma uh, all of that after stabilization of the patient by putting um, a, a two white core cannula uh, and start the fluid of the patient and then uh, get blood for a cross match and prepare blood for, uh, for him uh, after that we go to um, after stabilization um, um, May, may we try to do a catheterization of the patient. So, uh, catheterization is very important to see if there is a blood in the meatus. So, when there is a blood in the meatus, we should uh, note insert for the catheter. Insertion uh, of the catheter uh, in this condition it is uh, difficult and cause. Uh, more injury to the patient because when there is an impartial of the uh, urethra it will um, become a uh, complete cut uh, when we uh, insert the folic catheter uh, uh, so uh, 
call the urologist uh, who has an experience with this condition. He may uh, try to do retrograde retrogram. Uh, and during retrograde retrogram, he may see there there is uh, extravasation of the contrast material uh, outside the urethra. So it means there is a disruption of urethra. Uh, okay, uh, also um, very important when getting the patient to the uh, theater, uh, we can do uh, an, a shoot of IVP or IVU. Uh, an IVU, it means uh, intravenous urethrography or intravenous bilography by injection of contrast material intravenously about uh, 2 mm per kg. For um, uh, and then uh, do serial uh, x ray uh, for abdomen. Uh, as you know, uh, this is the difference between the KUB, KUB mean the kidney, ureter, and the bladder, but the IVU mean intravenous urography, KUB without contrast material, but IVU by injection of the contrast material uh, intravenously and then get serial. X-rays. Uh, the, the benefit of this IVU uh, give an idea, give us an idea about uh, the function of kidney, uh, give an idea about the degree of injury, and also give an idea about maybe there is cut ureter, maybe there is disruption of the uh, pelvic, uh, uh, sorry, for the BUJ. Belvi urethral uh, junction. Uh, also, from the investigation we may need, it is the retrograde, uh, retrograde retrogram, as I said, the RUG. We do the RUG by insertion of a small folic catheter in urethra. And then I try to uh, inflate the balloon inside the navicular fossa by tumor of fluid and then injection of the contrast material uh, or push contrast material through the foley inside the urethra. The benefit of that is to uh, know if there is an injury of the uh, urethra. If there is no injury after insertion of foley catheter to the bladder, we, we do uh, retrograde cystography. Retrograde cystography. Okay there? Retrograde cystography by injection of contrast material through the foley catheter to the bladder. راح تسألوني إيش قد contrast material نتفع به إيش حاله؟ اتفقنا بال IVP two mol per kg. Now, according to the age of the patient, for the pediatric age group till the age of ten years, depend on formula. Formula said H plus 2 by 13. H plus 2 by 13. So it uh, gives us the amount uh, that we should uh, install inside uh, the bladder. This amount uh, will cause a full bladder. So when there is an extravasation of uh, contrast material outside the bladder give an idea uh, that there is an uh, damage or uh, rupture bladder or injury of the bladder so uh, and also very important to know it is uh, the contrast material go between the uh, bowel or remain outside uh, the baritone if it is intraside uh, between the bowel it, uh, it is intraperitoneal rupture it could the intraperitoneal rupture of the bladder, but if it remain outside the peritone, it could the extraperitoneal rupture of the bladder. All these things uh, consider as an investigation for the patient with injury. Okay, for adult patient, uh, we use uh, 300 roughly, roughly 300 to uh, 350. Uh, mold of contrast material. Okay? As I have the investigation, so in a catheterization by foley catheter, Arafna the RUG, Arafna the retrograde cystography, 
وعرفنا نسوي I V U. More than that, we uh, benefit from CT scan. The CT scan. Use the CT scan for staging and the an early finding of injury. When the patient come to casualty, we do stabilization of the patient. And after that, we should do CT scan, computerized tomography. It gives an idea about the staging. It's very important, staging of injury. Because uh, staging uh, of injury uh, it will uh, give us the protocol for the treatment. Uh, as you see by this uh, diagram, I put the staging of the renal injury in front of you. So, uh, the stage one, it is contusion, contusion of the uh, kidney with subcapsular hematoma. Uh, contusion of the kidney with subcapsular hematoma. So, there is no clear laceration of the renal parenchyma. It is associated with hematuria. Okay, contusion, subcapsular hematoma, uh, without laceration, and also hematuria, present. Stage two, an injury, a stain, uh, injury of the renal parenchyma, or the laceration of the renal parenchyma, which involves the cortex. So it is less than one cm, grade three, Laceration of the renal cortex and renal parenchyma, but more than 1 cm and not reach the pelvic alicial system. Okay? Shabab, we are into the anatomy, the cortex, and uh, the renal parenchyma, cortex, middle, and then there is pelvic alicial system, which starts from the minor calyx major calyx and then uh, renal pelvis and b u j okay so uh, grade four laceration o uh, renal parenchyma involve the cortex medulla and reaching the pelvic alicial system so in this there is an extravasation of urine there is an extravasation of urine because the injury reaching the pelvic alicial system so urine, when protected in the kidney, it will go out through the injury. Grade five, it is multiple, multiple laceration of the renal parenchyma, uh, all of it reaching the pelvic alicial system, or, so it is called shattered kidney, shattered kidney, or uh, involvement of uh, major blood vessel, or, major thrombus in the uh, great renal or in the renal vessel great renal vessel it is the staging system of the renal injury by uh, involved uh, by ct or computerized tomography okay next okay as we say, this is the staging of, uh, of the renal injury. Okay, next. Epidemiology. As we said, incidence of urological uh, tract injury following abdominal trauma it is 10%. Renal trauma, about 1 to 5% uh, percent of, all uh, of all trauma cases. Male to female ratio three to one. Both kidneys are at equal in deposition to injury. And the blunt trauma, it is, um, you should change it please, 80 to 85. 80 to 85. And the remaining part is the penetrating trauma. Okay. Pathology. Laceration from the blunt, laceration from the blunt trauma, 
usually occur in the uh, transverse plane of the kidney. The mechanism of injury is thought to be force transmitted from uh, the center of uh, the impact to the renal parenchyma. An injury from the uh, rapid acceleration deceleration injury. It occurs when the uh, body moves uh, rapid, when he, he uh, um, um, uh, give an idea about this when uh, someone is sitting in a car and the uh, car uh, run in uh, speed. So uh, there is different, um, uh, when, when sudden stop this by accident or by collision, so uh, the um, um, kidneys and other part of the body will uh, occur under this insult, acceleration and deceleration. Okay, so it will, uh, uh, may cause avulsion, may cause uh, severe trauma on the renal vessel and uh, trauma to uh, uh, parenchymal tissue. Acute thrombosis of the renal artery may be caused by uh, initial tear from rapid deceleration injury uh, owing to the sudden uh, stretch. Also, next. Yes, it is uh, the mechanism of the uh, penetration it is either uh, uh, occur by uh, complete the penetration, either gun shoot or knife or whatever uh, type of penetration. And uh, it is, uh, we are familiar with this type of uh, injury according to our uh, society. Okay. Presentation and diagnosis. At first, we should uh, get uh, history from the patient, if he can uh, uh, give up history, or from the uh, relative or the person who uh, hold, the, um, uh, hold him to the casualty. And also, very important, uh, very important, uh, start with examination, as said previously, and then the diagnosis of the renal injury and begin with a high index of clinical awareness. Uh, pain may be uh, localized or on flank area or over the uh, all over the abdomen. Uh, and also uh, retro retroperitoneal bleeding may cause abdominal distension, uh, alias, uh, and patient may come with repeated vomiting. Next, please. Examination, um, maybe patient to present with feature of uh, shock because of uh, hypertrabertonial bleeding, also ecchymosis in the flank and upper quadrant of the abdomen. Uh, examination of the pelvis and lower limb. So when, when there is an incidence or, or, uh, of the Bleeding periurethra or uh, bleeding permeatus, and with with um, pelvic fracture, it gives uh, important uh, uh, point or hint about the fracture of the uh, pelvis that cause rupture to the bladder or ring to the uh, urethra, and also uh, diffuse diffuse abdominal tenderness may be found on on a palpation. Okay. Uh, and palpable mass may be uh, represent a larger retroperitoneal hematoma and uh, urinary extravasation. Also, the abdomen may be distended and bowel sound absent. And also, evidence uh, or visible evidence or abdominal of abdominal trauma. Okay, next. Okay, uh, here he, he uh, talk about the uh, catheterization, and I mentioned it in the uh, uh, beginning of the lecture. Okay, 
So it is uh, catheter uh, yes. Uh, hematology is very important to see the uh, BTV of the patient uh, because we should put in our mind uh, some patient may treat it uh, conservatively. So it depends on the baseline presentation of the patient. Uh, the, uh, it is the fetal sign and the hematocrit. So uh, when we start the chart, observation chart, uh, we put the blood pressure, pulse rate, uh, uh, other vital signs and also depend on the uh, hematocrit. And so it is very important. Sometimes the patient uh, come with hematuria, uh, gross hematuria, so uh, we can uh, uh, see it or observe it. But sometimes uh, the patient present with microscopic hematuria, uh, and uh, as you know, the microscopic hematuria uh, mean more than three uh, RBC per high power fill. Uh, and also, very important note, um, we should put in our mind, um, the severity of hematuria, the severity of hematuria, uh, not related to the severity of a trauma. The severity of hematuria, not related to the severity of a trauma. Why? Because um, sometimes there is a, a cut of your ureter, disruption of the BUJ. Sometimes there is an avulsion of the um, renal artery. So, um, not get uh, as a uh, good idea about the severity of trauma. Uh, okay, uh, imaging, as uh, we uh, said previously, it is a start with a different uh, uh, type of modality uh, for investigation. Start with the x ray, IVU. Uh, a CT scan, whatever the uh, need for investigation. Um, sometimes we should put in our mind uh, IV, when do I view the kidney not appear? Please, please, dear uh, student, uh, put, in, uh, put in your mind sometime when we do IVU, intravenous urography, for patients. Uh, before surgery or after a trauma, there is uh, the kidney not appear. The kidney not appear. So, what are the cause? What are the cause? Not appear the kidney in the IVU. First, maybe there is avulsion, renal artery avulsion. Two, renal artery thrombosis, big thrombus. Renal artery avulsion, can cut, renal artery cut or avulsed, renal artery thrombosis. Sometimes there is severe shock, so there is a spasm. Severe shock, so there is a spasm. And uh, for uh, as is as possible, maybe the patient and the previous nephrectomy, history of nephrectomy, or history of renal agenesis. Okay? This point very important. This is because why the kidney not appear in the IVU. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay, next slide. Yes. Yes, next slide. Oh, all of this investigation, I mentioned it in the uh, beginning of the lecture, but uh, there is very important thing here, please. Uh, the, the indication for uh, CT scan. Indication for CT scan. Please, there, it is important. Uh, as you uh, uh, saw in our casualty or our uh, emergency room. Uh, sometimes multiple patients, mul uh, multiple or large number of patients uh, come, such as when there is uh, an RTA or uh, uh, different causes, uh, multi patients come. So we should uh, arrange the patient according to. Uh,
okay uh, as you sorry okay uh, okay the student as you said uh, as i said the indication for ct scan is very important uh, it give an idea about the administer the parenchymal laceration of the uh, and the urine crystallization and delineate the segment parenchymal infarction uh, determine the size and the location of the surrounding retroperitoneal hematoma and or associated intra-abdominal injury, spleen, liver, pancreas, um, and the bowel. <clears throat> okay, and the indication, Maraf Sajirat Ola, Aidil Kumiyan, indication for CT scan, a patient with uh, uh, history of um, blunt trauma and uh, shock state. Uh, blunt trauma and controls hematuria. Blunt trauma, uh, acceleration, deceleration injury. And patient with penetrating trauma. Patient penetrating the trauma. Okay, patient with a, uh, penetrating a trauma. Also, be, uh, pediatric age group with continue with hematuria. Pediatric age group with hematuria. This is the indica five indication. Five indication of CT. Okay. So uh, now we we'll start with uh, treatment. Non-operative uh, non amendment grade one to grade four blunt renal trauma staple patient should be managed uh, conservatively by bed rest prophylactic antibiotic and continuous monitoring of the vital sign until hematuria resolve. Okay, so this indication for the non-operative management, non-operative management uh, of the patient with uh, blunt trauma, non-operative management. Okay, next slide. Next, please. Yes. All grade one to grade three, blunt and non -penetrate and penetrating injury in a stable patient can be managed conservatively with bed rest, hydration, and antibiotic. Persistent bleeding uh, represents the main indication for renal exploration and, recon and reconstruction. Indication for exploration. Hemodynamic instability due to renal hemorrhage is an absolute indication for renal exploration. Grade five renal injury is in a stable, in a stable patient. Expanding or percentile perirenal hematoma seen at laparotomy for associated injury are other indication for renal exploration. Goal of renal exploration following renal trauma is control of hemorrhage and renal salvage. Okay, so in the treatment, we divide the patient into two groups a group with uh, blunted trauma, group with penetrating trauma. So, patient with blunt trauma, blunt trauma. Uh, 80% 80 80 of patients with the blunt trauma, that is grade 1, 2, grade 2, 3. Someone uh, said grade 1, 2, some, uh, some uh, or other said grade 1, 2, 3. So 80% um, of patients with blunt trauma can treat it conservatively. I mean by conservatively, uh, admit to hospital. Complete bed rest, good fluid, uh, good hydration, and then uh, good cover antibiotic with, with continuous, this is very important, with continuous observation. Observation of the vital sign, and then observation of uh, hematocrit. So, serial, uh, BCV should be done on the patients. Uh, uh, this is different from the third day to second and third day and uh, and else okay 
and also a variation of uh, continuous loss, loss of blood. So they should have continuous hematuria, uh, continuous uh, may, 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 may uh, go from the conservative type of treatment to exploration of the kidney. So uh, put in your mind, patient with a blunt trauma, which uh, about 80 to 85 percent of all renal injuries uh, can be treated uh, with uh, conservative management, but he is hemodynamically stable. So, uh, when the patient, uh, even with blunt trauma, who go for uh, hemodynamic instability or continuous loss of uh, blood or continuous a decrease in the uh, hematocrit, I mean BCV, okay? But patient with penetrating a trauma and uh, uh, reverse condition, patient with penetrating a trauma, 80% of patient with penetrating a trauma uh, associated with injury to other parts of the or other organ. So, when the patient is already explored by general surgeon, by our colleague, uh, we explore the kidney. So when there is an laceration, it should be treated when there is an, uh, any condition. So it is an indication uh, for uh, exploration. Also, uh, sometimes uh, there is uh, uh, expanding and uh, unpalsatile hem hematoma. When the, uh, uh, our colleague open or uh, do exploration of the uh, other abdominal organ, he said, uh, or call the urologist that there is an expanding hematoma and um, pulsatile. It means there is an injury to the renal artery or injury to the uh, uh, major vessel. So it needs exploration. Also, um, um, in the late presentation, um, maybe there is an uh, urinoma, large urinoma. And also maybe there is a uh, uh, large hematoma and the patient um, uh, not seek uh, treatment, um, maybe far more in the uh, uh, far area of, uh, from the center. Um, he fall, fall from height and seek the uh, medical advice. And after three, two to three days, I presented with a um, large urinoma that caused ilia, that caused ileus, that caused uh, distension, uh, pain, repeated vomiting, so it needs uh, exploration. Also, uh, uh, as we said, um, uh, goal of renal exploration, it is uh, for uh, salvage, control of bleeding and salvage of the uh, kidney. Okay, complication. Good, next. Uh, there is an early complication and late complication. The early complication occur within the first month after injury and can be bleeding, infection, perineal abscess, sepsis, uh, urinary uh, fistula, hypertension, urinary extravasation, and urinary. And uh, delayed complication include calculus formation, uh, chronic polynephritis, hypertension, and arterial venous fistula. Okay. Next, please. Next, please. Okay. Um, okay. As a complete, it is the hydronephrosis and the uh, pseudoaneurysm. Okay. Uh, this is a special case for pediatric renal trauma. It's very important. Children are more prone to renal trauma as the kidneys uh, are lower in the abdomen, uh, less well protected by the, uh, the lower rib and the muscle of the flank and abdomen. Kidney is more mobile, have less protective peripheral fat, and are, um, and are proportionally 
larger in the abdomen than in the adult. Uh, okay, hypotension is a less reliable sign a significant injury can be present despite stable blood pressure. Pediatric renal trauma. Indication for uh, radiographic evaluation of the children suspected of the renal trauma, blunt and penetrating a trauma patient with uh, any level of hematuria. Patient with associated abdominal injury regardless of the finding of Okay, next, please. Okay, patient with normal urinalysis who sustained a rapid uh, deceleration event, direct flank trauma or uh, fall from height. Okay, um, also, um, there is an, uh, a comment about the uh, injury of the ureter. So, uh, the ureter, it is the second part of the RNA system, as I said, and it is about, uh, it is, uh, and there is a botanical uh, region, and um, divided into two parts, uh, the upper ureter and the lower ureter. Uh, according to uh, iliac vessel, so every so part above the iliac vessel, it is the upper ureter, and the part below the iliac vessel, it is the lower ureter. Okay, uh, ureteric injury, it is rare, uh, and three mechanism, three scenarios, three scenario for the uh, ureteral injury, three scenarios for the ureteral injury. First one. It is a direct penetrating injury. Second one, it is the iatrogenic injury. I iatrogenic, so uh, it means done by, uh, done by uh, a surgeon. Iatrogenic injury, either during surgery uh, for uh, or difficult surgery done by gynecologist or uh, other, such as when uh, during the uh, complicated cesarean section, complicated uh, hysterectomy, uh, sometimes uh, patient come with rupture uterus. So uh, during surgery, uh, may the gynecologist uh, or uh, do ligation of the ureter uh, when she try to control uh, uh, the uterine artery. As you know, the ureter, um, uh, according to the uh, water under the bridge, so the ureter under the uterian artery, so when the, uh, she try to ligate the bleeding uh, uterine or uh, control the bleeding from uterian artery to ligate the ureter. And also, um, um, there the third scenario, it means the uh, dissection, dissection of the uh, uh, ureter that cause uh, avascularization, avascularization uh, during dissection for lymph node. Okay, lymph node dissection associated with avascularization of the ureter that lead to ureteral fibrosis. Three scenario. Okay, uh, sorry, it did not appear in this slide. Um, I don't know why, but uh, uh, I view in. Uh, uh, headline of the ureteral injury. Three scenario, you know. Uh, when there is uh, injury of the ureter, if it is how, how we find it. If it uh, occurs during surgery, so we can uh, find it during surgery directly. If uh, after surgery, we can investigate it and find it by CT scan, IVU, and ultrasound. Sometimes uh, bilateral uteral injury occur. So the patient come and urea. And urea plus increase the urea creatinine level. Okay? Uh, treatment, uh, if it occurred during the, uh, if it occurred during the surgery, direct repair of the uh, ureter. If, uh, after that, sometimes the patient come uh, either anuric, anuria, 
plus an increase your creatinine and sometime uh, come with a, a sepsis and shock state so the patient need drainage of kidneys so we do nephrostomy tube evacuation of urine stabilize the patient covered by antibiotic and then proper repair of the retarder okay important things maybe uh, we ask you a uh, question or uh, so you uh, should uh, put in your mind uh, the principle of urethral the principle of urethral repair the principle of urethral repair شنو البرنسبل مانيتر ريبير بنسال بيها دائما شباب انا ببسطتها كلش لكم خليتها لكم نقاط اس اس حرف اس 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 ستنتنج سباتيوليشن ستنتنج يوز دي دبل جي ستنت اي مين يوز دي دبل جي ستنت ستنتنج سباتيوليشن ميك سباتيولي ميك سباتيولي افري هالو اورجان ريبير سوتش از دي باول يوريتر Uh, any uh, hollow organ uh, after healing uh, about uh, 30% to 40% uh, 30% of it 20 to 30% uh, go with healing so it become narrow okay okay Shabab, it become narrow so we do spatula spatula it means uh, make an Uh, incision in the uh, two end of ureter make an incision in the two end of the ureter and this incision make wide area for healing okay okay so it is ss stenting spatulation stenting spatulation the bridement advantage the bridement drainage the bright method i mean removal of the uh, damaged parts furrows or damaged part the bridement it means the bridement the bridement removal of the damaged part damaged end okay or fibrous end it is put the bridement okay drainage you should put uh, drain too water tight our switch of the ureter should be water tight so there is no leak okay so there is no leak and uh, because the leak may cause urinoma may cause infection may, uh, delayed healing so it's good water tight and tension free tension free okay water tight tension free water tight you know and tension free so uh, we do approximation of both end without tension to let the healing uh, uh, go better okay So the principle, stimulation, uh, drainment, drainage, water tight, intensive. Okay, okay. This uh, all things about the uh, urethral repair. Uh, as I say there is an uh, complication of the urethral repair. Complication, complication after urethral repair. Um, maybe there is an. Uh, Uh, urinoma, uh, leak, uh, infection, uh, sepsis, and uh, late, late, uh, hydronephrosis, and um, uh, sometimes there is a uh, fibrosis. Okay, okay, good. Now go for the uh, uh, other part is the urinary trauma, urinary bladder trauma, blunt. Trauma treating and the atrogenic same, same. It is the mechanism or the scenario of injury or mechanism of injury, either blunt trauma, atrogenic trauma, and atrogenic trauma. Okay, please next. Okay, uh, as we said in the uh, first part of the lecture, it is either extra peritoneal bladder perforation. Account for uh, 50% to 75% of a bladder uh, rupture, uh, while the 25% or uh, 43% are intraperitoneal rupture. Okay. Seven per okay, next. 7% uh, to 14% are uh, combined. 
are compliant, okay. Incidence of the uh, intraperitoneal bladder rupture is significantly higher in children because of the uh, predominant abdominal uh, location of the bladder before uh, puberty. The injury, uh, the preferred evaluation is by retrograde uh, cystography, cystogram, uh, to uh, classify the injury as intra or extraperitoneal. Intraperitoneal injury are uh, sorry, um, will always repair, uh, uh, sorry, rupture, uh, okay, require open, uh, intraperitoneal intra injury require open surgery, while the extraperitoneal injury can be treated or managed by catheter drainage allow uh, the major majority of cases, okay, while some uh, multiple absolute uh, exception, okay, next. Okay, okay, there. And this is uh, some an idea about the bladder chart. So it is um, put in your mind, please. Intraperitoneal rupture treated surgically, extraperitoneal rupture uh, treated uh, drainage and uh, bed rest drainage and uh, cover antibiotic. Uh, thank you very much, there. And if you uh, need any question, you can put the question in the uh, classroom uh, and thank you very much and good luck.